They might still be blitzing, but it's going to be zone. Oh, they are blitzing. They are blitzing. What's good, everybody? And we're back. Welcome to our brand new series called Chaos vs. The Pros. And today, we're going to be taking on Civil. Very good player. Last year's club champion for the Buccaneers. Very good player. Very excited to bring you this game. Now, this is going to be a series where we're going to be playing against different pro players. I'm going to try to ask different players to play each and every week. We can try to have some fun, entertaining games. And I'm going to treat these a little bit more like chaos coachings where I'm going to be trying to break down what I'm thinking throughout the game. Going to be competitive games. Hopefully, hopefully we play well. And I can try to break down what we're thinking throughout the games. I think it could be a fun series. If you do think the series could be fun, I ask you to please hit that like button for me. It really helps me out. Now, before we get into the video here, I do have one quick announcement. Then we'll jump over to the lineup. But first, here's the announcement. I am excited and thankful to announce that I am now officially a partner with EA in their supported creator program. So I now have my own code in the EA store. And what that means is when you're trying to add points in the EA store, you can enter a promo code for any of the creators that are a part of the program. My promo code is actually going to be chaos. K-A-U-S. And again, there's several great creators that are part of this program, but when you type in the code, whichever code that you're using, if you've done it correctly, you will then see their name located here in the EA store. But I do want to mention anyone that uses my code, I do receive some money back on that. So I appreciate any of you who do it. But what I'm not asking for is for anyone that's no money spent or doesn't really buy packs to try to support me by buying packs. That's not what I'm asking for. I love and appreciate you. But what I'm asking for is for anyone who does buy packs to support one of the creators in the program by using a code. That's what I ask. I appreciate and love all of you. Now let's get back to the show. So here's the team and we've actually made a lot of changes to the team overall, but we'll get to that in a bit here. We haven't made too many changes to the offense. Josh Allen's still our QB. Reggie Bush is our starting running back. We have Raheem Mostert as our backup running back. We can also put at wide receiver if we want to change up our personnel to audible to different formations like an I form close. We have Terry McLaurin still as our starting wide receiver number one. And then we have Chad Johnson as our wide receiver number two. Now we do have Marquise Brown. I think these challenges for Thanksgiving game for the Ravens are definitely possible. So that's why we have Marquise Brown in case there's an upgrade there. And then for tight ends, we still have Darren Waller. We still have Vernon Davis who also can go out wide like Mostert where we can change up our personnel. O-line, the only change that we have is at our right guard. We picked up Brandon Scherf. Now, the changes for the team is actually a major change overall. It's not a ton of different personnel changes, especially on offense. But now instead of having 25 Niners and 25 Cardinals, we still have the Niners. But now we have 25 for the Washington football team. So we changed that up a little bit. And that allows you to get that plus one speed to everyone that plays for the Washington football team, to everyone that gets that chemistry. So that's why we made that change. I felt like we had more players that fit there instead of the Cardinals. And we'll go over some of the ones that get that boost here in a bit. Uh, including we already went over McLaurin. McLaurin's another one. Wide receivers and corners I feel are really important. So that's why we have McLaurin there. But then we have some more and I'll, and I'll talk about them here in a bit. We have Ronnie Lott as our starting free safety. That's a new pickup as well as Devin McCourty as our backup free safety. And we can put these safeties at linebackers a lot. So there's a lot of things we can do. Those are both new pickups. Now I will talk about, we'll get to the specialists here in a bit. But in the specialist is where we have a lot of our starters. So for example, Thomas Davis Sr. is really just to meet our chemistries. For the washington football team it's actually not the start but we'll talk about that again when we get to the specialist taylor mays kendall fuller that's another new pickup at the backup strong safety position getting to corners here we have drc Deion sanders denzel ward and antonio cromarty now i already mentioned a lot of these players that are starting at the d line and the linebacker positions aren't the actual starters so we'll get to specialists here we have John Abraham, that's one that uh, was not in the starting position, but is going to start for us. Javon Kirsch, that's another one. LT, so anyone that didn't meet Sneed's another one. We like to put Sneed at safety a lot. Anyone that didn't meet the team chemistries in order to help us get to that 25 that we couldn't fit into the starting lineup, we put them here in order to still have them as they can still be starters, but we they, wouldn't, they weren't going to contribute to the chemistry. So that's why we have them in these positions. Going over to team strategy here, no changes since the last video. Still with Raiders offense. Still with the 4-6 defense. That is it for the team. Let's get into the game. Here we go in our game against Civil. Again, we played multiple times this year. Some for lab games, one for his channel, now for our channel. 
here we go and we're gonna be starting this one on defense that's cool this is a little bit different game like as far as strategy goes than usual usually you have to kind of feel out your opponent see what they like to do on offense and defense but for this one we've already played civil several times we already have an idea of what civil likes to do on both sides of the ball We'll see how it goes early on in this one i don't feel like i have to worry about the run too too much civil will run the ball but mostly it's looking to pass here so we'll just see here we'll see what they're going for early oh i thought i did not think that was to the route that it was that was actually a laser that actually wasn't close to a pick at all i just want to make a quick switch here i want to have sneed on this side and put antonio Camardi over on this side but again that was a dot right there so we'll, we'll continue to adjust what i'm going to do right here is i'm actually going to put a purple on that side just like before so we have a purple there now i'm gonna move sanders down we have a purples where that route went to to try to stop that post route just as soon as they have a dot against us we'll switch to something else every single time they want to do that and right here doesn't let anything is open and you see that's where that route was going to right where that slant or post it looked like a slant that time right where it went to that's where we had the purple we have that purple there again we also have a hard flat on the left side to take away anything from the running back going to, or anything just going to that hard flat to the left a table route can be a tight end drag anything like that Backs on a streak. Let's go, Gray Shed. Now we're on a third and long here. We have a couple purples out there. We're leaving our deep blue. We don't want to give up the full first down. If we give up half this, that's not the worst. But if we only give up, oh, we got a chance at that. Let's go, Camardi. Let's go, Camardi. I maybe should have swatted that. I'm not, you know, that's probably about a punt. That's okay. We'll definitely take the stop right there. Let's see if we can get a score. Starting off the game here, looks like they're in double A gap, which is usually going to end up being a man coverage blitz sending sending usually six people at you so we'll see if we can take advantage of that uh, get maybe a route over the top not gonna have it we're not gonna have it. we just have to throw the ball away there we don't want to make any mistakes we already have a stop so we don't want to make any mistakes and it wasn't it wasn't it actually wasn't a uh man coverage blitz there so good disguise by them and, and it actually you know what i can see it it's gonna be a man cover it's not gonna be man coverage because that corner on the right side would be lined up over chad johnson at b if they were on if they were in man coverage so this is zone they might still be blitzing but it's going to be zone oh they are blitzing they are blitzing and they're getting a sack looking to quick hike this right here just looking to quick hike make a quick pass anything that we can pick up a few yards on we have our in route we have our in route all right we got some back there we already got a stop though we're already up a stop we're on a fourth and ten you know what you know what we're gonna punt the ball away i feel like that's the decision right here we should punt the ball away you know, normally on a 4th and 10, I probably would go for it because 4th and 10 is doable. But since we're already up a stop and we that defense kind of threw us off. That's a different defense than I've seen from Civil when we usually play. They, when they went to double A gap before in our last uh, previous games, it usually was man coverage. That was not man coverage. I liked our defensive adjustments last drive against what Civil was doing. Nice low ball. I like the way that our adjustments were working last drive. We had the purple to stop that slant. That was a tighter window right there. I'm going to continue to do these adjustments until Civil starts to dot it up consistently and then we can kind of adjust from there but as of right now we're going to continue to just keep doing putting that purple over there maybe put a hard flat on the left and i like these adjustments they were working for us on the first uh the first drive and we'll kind of go from there i'm watching the slant now watching the slant okay that's a dot that's a dot oh no it's a quick hike it's a quick hike great tackles we have a purple over on the left now to stop that corner route that we got that they did before on the last play watching this option watching this option can we get that Great knockout, Denzel Ward. All right, that was close. Big time play from Denzel. I watch that running back out of the backfield. Just a motion to the left. I'm on it with Maze. Dot. Absolute dot. Watching for the run right here. We're watching for the run right here. We didn't get in. We didn't get in. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that's going to be a big play. Oh, can we make a tackle? No. All right. All right. So our first drive didn't go too good. We're going to try to adjust to what Civil was doing out of this defense. Oh, we, we might have had that out. We're just going to run. We're just going to run with Josh Allen. We'll take we'll take our yards right there. We'll take any yards we can get right there because our play our play didn't work. So if, if your play if your routes don't really get open and you're still able to pick up some yards, that's usually going to do pretty well for you. So definitely we'll take a scramble right there. I'm going to block the running back. Try to pick up this pressure. Didn't look like they sent the pressure last time, but if they do, we need to be ready for it. So we're blocking the running back. We picked it up. We got our slant. We got our slant. Great route, Chad. I'm going to look to get some quick hiking going. Quick hiking can throw the opponent off a little bit. And right there, we're going to have that outside. I think. I didn't, oh okay i definitely i, I don't know if i if i pulled it past it might have got lurked touch pass did not look that like <laughs> that did not look like it was gonna work but you know what we ended up getting a big gain on it so we will definitely take it now i'm gonna try inside zone i haven't tried inside zone yet against this double a gap in this game if it works that's good for us because that means we have a run we can go to if not we can try some other ones with auto down and different things like that so bringing the user down we're gonna try it 
Okay, it did not work. It did not work. I'm not running the inside zone anymore. No, nothing there. Nothing there. Good defense again. Good defense again. I don't want to settle for three here, but it's looking like we're probably going to have to. We'll see. We will see. I, I don't know if they're going to send pressure right here. If they send pressure, that gives us a chance to make a throw. So I'm actually going to send the running back out. We'll just ID over here. If they send pressure, we'll probably just end up taking a second, taking three. They did send the pressure, but we have the hit. Ooh, okay. Okay, five-yard line. Hmm, it's our ball at half. It's our ball at half. I'm going to take the three, play it safe here. I really don't know if I have a play for the... Uh, for the fourth down that's definitely going to work again this is a new defense that i haven't really played against civil in we'll take the three here try to get a stop before half we're going double purples here that was what's working for us before i don't think anything's going to be there i don't think anything's going to be there i gotta watch the playmaker yes okay i actually haven't sent much pressure at all this game so we're gonna send some pressure we didn't get there we didn't get there is that a first down okay third and inches we got a chance to stop here oh no oh no it's power roll. It's power roll. okay all right first down with 38 seconds here we really do not want to give up a big play over the top doesn't like things there oh we might have just given up something over the top denzel ward was that denzel ward or dion it was denzel ward again another big knockout i'm actually going to keep both deep halves this time we do not want to give up anything over the top we really don't i'm going to keep the deep halves there i'll lurk the left side myself where the purple would be Watching the running back here. Watching the running back. Knockout. Yes. All right. I'm doing the same adjustments here. We're keeping both deep halves there just to try to prevent anything from going over the top. We're watching the left side. Watching this crosser. Watching this crosser. That's fine. All right. We actually have a chance here with 19 seconds. We have all three timeouts. We actually have a chance at this. I might try to get three here. We're going to try to pick up a big chunk right here on the first play. If we can do that, then we might have a chance. Can Gunslinger get that pass in? Oh, we got the pass, but we didn't We didn't want to throw a pick there, but I thought that was probably a pass where if they did intercept it, it would probably go out of bounds. So I wasn't too nervous about that pass. Again, we're just going to try here to pick up a big chunk. We don't want to make any mistakes. We don't, we don't want to fumble the ball trying to get a pass out, right? That's definitely something we don't want to do. All right, so we'll just take the sack here. We'll go to half. 7-3. Not the, not the best half that we could have asked for. But we have the ball, one possession game. We're actually going to Ottawa down and run the ball here. We're not on a hash, and I prefer to run the ball from hash. I mean, excuse me, pass the ball from hash. So we're just going to go to power O right here, try to pick up a couple. We didn't pick up anything. We might have actually even lost there. But again, we don't want to pass from a non-hash mark and lose yards on the first play, right? That's not something that we want to do. So I actually think I have something that might work right here. They've been either hard flatting or doing like five-yard flats on the tight end side. So I'm going to look to pass it here to the to the tight end over the hard flat but underneath the deep blue that's what i'm gonna look to, look to do here if we can get that that'd be great if not we learn that that's not what they're doing so I, but i think that's what they're doing on that right side looks like a hard flat no it's not it's not i was wrong i think we have our flat over here though i think we do i think we do good job mostert third and one right here we're just gonna go to a quick hike we're going to a quick hike we're looking for our out route on the tight end didn't have it i think we have this post i'm trying it again with a low pass all right, with the low pass that time, it worked. We'll take it. I'm trying something right here. I'm looking for the seam, and I'm also looking for the corner route. Ooh, really well-timed blitz. Really well-timed blitz. All right, we definitely don't want to walk away from this drive with no points at all. That's definitely not something that we want to do. What we're going to try right here is we're just going to try a quick play that can either pick up like a five-yard in route, maybe hit our flat. We want to make sure we get points right here. That's the biggest thing. We have our in route. We have our in route. I had, I had to low pass it there right there just because to be safe. 41 i think that's close to field goal range maybe not quite but if we get close enough for a first down i'll probably go for it here this is a tough spot this is a tough spot to be in. i'm gonna block the running back to try to make sure we have a little bit extra time i'm looking for that hitch in the middle i'll take the hitch i'll take the hitch all right 33 you can kick from here we could kick it but it's a fourth and five i think we i, I think the play here is to go for it now our receivers are a little tired i think our play is to go for it I think our place to go for it so what we're gonna do yeah what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this this tight end corner out and we're gonna quick hike this play quick hiking has worked for us i feel like at times and we're gonna try it again here allow them to get down there we go we have the corner out outside we have the corner out outside great job waller we needed that first down i'm actually gonna go to counter go here we haven't gone to that really at all this game break off break off ah really good user i was waiting for them to break off the tight end streak and they didn't do it. I'll show you back here. If they just broke off maybe a couple seconds sooner, I probably could have fit that pass in. But again, they didn't do it. So we don't want to force a pass in. Not on first and 10. 
Uh, we have a chance at points here. So regardless, I would I would like to at least make sure we get three. I don't want to make any mistakes. Ooh, ooh, I wanted to throw the corner out. Just slide, just slide. I'm looking for another quick hike here. We shouldn't allow them to run now with their user. Oh, that was that was not going to be open. I was looking for the curl, but I threw it way sooner than I should have. Fourth and five. We've already picked up a fourth and five once. I'm going to go for it again, but I'm actually going to do a different play than we ran before. I'm going to go to a different play here. Try, all right, Chad Johnson got the energy back. We're going to we're going to this post slant. This post slant has worked for us. We've had the hitch at times as well. I don't know if they're going to adjust for it here. I really don't. If they stop us, we're still in the game, so I don't mind going for it here. But we definitely do not want to get stopped. We have the hitch. We have the hitch. Oh, no. Okay. I low passed it. I didn't really have to, I don't think. I probably shouldn't have because that almost cost us the first down because they came back to the ball on the low pass. That would have been on us. We're going to take this to the corner right here. If we can get in, we'll be in a great spot. We're actually going to run the ball right here. We're going to see the run defense again. That power all looked decent the first time around. I thought it looked pretty good, so we'll try it again here. Oh, we got some blocking. We got some blocking. Let's go, Reggie Bush. Okay, we have the lead. We have the lead. We need one stop. Starting off this drive, we're going back to the adjustments that we were using for most of that first half that we felt comfortable with. The purples, nice hit, LT. The purples on both sides. We're keeping it deep half. We might mix up what we're doing as far as hard flat purple from the tight end, uh, from the, the solo tight end side, not from the wide receiver side. But for the most part, I liked that two purple setup, and I liked. And I like the purple from this receiver. I liked it like this, just like this. And then putting LT on the outside. I like that setup in the first half. So we're going to stick with it. If we start getting dotted, we will change up. But that's where I felt like we had our most success with. So we'll keep trying it here. I'm watching this option. Watching this option. Oh, the low pass. The low pass. I didn't hold Y or X or, or uh, yeah, Y or X or anything right there to try to get a swat or a pick. That was a dot. I still like that defense. I still like it. I feel like these are a little bit tight windows. I feel like the defense is playing well. So we're going to keep trying it here. And if again, if we if we do get dotted, I will switch up. All right, this is gonna be a run play. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna try to shoot the gap on the right side. I'm gonna try to shoot the gap on the right side right here. All right, we didn't get there. We were able to get a block shot with teammates. Oh no, I didn't get my adjustment for the purple. I gotta watch the slam myself. I gotta watch the slam myself. Yes, that was big time. That was big time, Abraham. All right, big play, third and sixteen. Yeah, demand up the, the deep half to the running back because they put the running back outside. I'm lurking back on it. I'm looking, can we get a pick? Yes, Ricky! Ricky Jackson! We, field goal range? No, we're gonna be able to go. Okay, all right, we got field goal range here. I don't wanna make any mistakes. Here's the plan. I'm gonna run the ball on the first two downs. That's that's pretty much definite. Unless we lose like seven yards or something on the first one, then maybe I won't run the ball. The plan is to run the ball on both first and second down here. And then on third down, we'll reevaluate. If we can take all three timeouts, have a, full, a six point lead so that they have to get a touchdown, I'm kind of okay with that. Cause I feel like even when Civil's been moving the ball really, really well, We've made, we've made them work on offense. We made them take shorter passes, take a little bit of a longer time driving the ball. But that was a, that was a nice run from Reggie Bush right there. So we're going to go back to it. We're going to go back to it. If we don't gain anything, or if, excuse me, if we don't lose anything on this play, I'm probably going to run the ball again. If we don't get the first down, we don't get the first down. But I do not want to throw a pick down here and give them the ball back. Oh, I bounced out. I, that's probably because I was holding the right trigger. I went too fast. Third and four. Third and four. This is such a tough spot. You do not want to throw a pick. Definitely not a pick six. That run has looked good. The run has looked good. You know what? Here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to audible down. We're actually going to pass the ball. We're actually going to pass the ball here. Let's see what the passes are looking like. Nah, you know what? You know, ah, yeah, we can pass. We can pass. This is not, this is not the worst thing here. I actually like this. I like this setup. We're going to motion across. Yeah, we're going to motion across. Just like that. Do we have the post? Yes! Yes, Darren Waller! I wasn't sure. We have matchup nightmare. So it was a possibility that... Well, we had matchup nightmare, so it was going to work if that was a linebacker. But I think that was a corner. That looked like DRC out there. So we lobbed it. That could have been the pick that I was talking about that we didn't want to do. We end up getting a great dive from Darren Waller. Now we can actually, we can't technically knee this out unless the plays take enough time. So I actually probably should run the ball once. We'll chew clock it here. I'll run the ball once. And that should take enough time because 30, 30, 30 is about a minute and a half. So we have like a minute 33 here. So I'll just take it down to one. And if this play takes a few seconds, it should make up for the difference in time here. Wow, this was, this is a completely different game 
than the first one that we played on on Civil's channel. The first one, I won't spoil anything. Just it was a different game. It was a great game. It was close, just like this one. Just a different game as well, though. We should be able to need this one out now. I don't need to run any more plays. I don't want to fumble the ball. Wow. And that is going to do it. Great game to Civil. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you to him for playing this game for our channel. And again, if you want to check out the other game that we played, very fun, very competitive. You can check that out on his channel. It's going to be linked in the description below. And again, if you want to see more of these types of games, more from this series of Chaos vs. The Pros, I ask that you please hit that like button and remember to subscribe only if you want to. Take it easy. Peace. Much love to all of you for your support. I'll see you all in the next one.